Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest and best Clap It episode to date. Join us as we begin in pre-hunt preparation, setting trail cams in the bush. Enjoy. I'm just going to set some cameras up quickly for some bushbuck. I'm wanting to do a, a bow hunt for some bushbuck with Alistair Knott from Beaufort Hunting. You guys would have seen in the first episode, we shot a kudu bull and some pigs there. So we're going to do a little bit of a bushbuck hunt in a week or two's time. So just in preparation for that, we want to put some cameras out. And just see, ach, there's so many spoils here. We just want to see what, what rams are lurking about and if there's any pigs in this area. So it's always a always a good thing to put some cameras out before and, and just get a background on on what game's moving through the area. So we'll, we'll put this one up somewhere here. I just want to clear a bit and then in a week or two's time we'll we'll see what's been happening. Bushback loves this. This is like, like flipping sweets for candy for a bushback. I should, I should eat it. Okay, so got some warthog. Bushback use. Darker or kid? It could be a kid actually. More use. Loving that those leaves, yeah. Darker, darker ram. Another you. More use. And that's me, so no rams on this camera. Unfortunately. Quite unfortunate, but great to see lots of ewes about. Where there's ewes, there are rams, and I mean, flip, we saw that ram. The camera is there. That ram was just there, so maybe it's just the wrong area. What I'd like to do now is go check the other camera, change the card in it, and then possibly put a camera down. There's a bit of a quarry, sort of where this ram just walked over to. And I'd like to put a camera there, and then possibly one in this camp. Only problem is uh, cattle in that camp. So I might put one there at the quarry and then one up in that bush somewhere there. So yeah, let's do that quickly. Okay, with a slight lack of intro here, but I've actually got Alistair here. You would have seen me at a bit of a stalk on some blessed buck earlier. And we've got both bows here today. Alistair's got his, his VXR, I've got my no cam. And the plan is just to walk around, see if we can find some pigs, darkers, a bit of pushback around that we might look for this evening. It's a bit windy, but we'll see what we can do. Ach, it's going to be a fun day or two, we'll just see what we can, see what we come up upon. Ugh, there's no, not much pressure to shoot anything, but it would be nice. We've got the rifle here as well in case we do see something far. I think the plan is now, this is a camp that we haven't hunted in a long time. So, it's lots of wattle trees as you can see here. So anything that we do see should be quite close. And there are a couple of water and darker in this camp. 
And then as the wind dies down this evening, gets a bit cooler, we'll head to the pastures in search of a warthog and possibly a bushback ram. We'll just see how the weather plays. Otherwise, we've got tomorrow morning, I think. Oh, you leave tomorrow evening, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see what happens. Okay, Moi, let's see what we can find. Take a little slow walk through here. Hopefully we stumble upon something, but it'll be might to get out either way. Okay, so we spotted a pushback ram faded just over this ridge here. We're going to see there's a push that we might be able to get in line with them and get close. So we've got the bow, we're going to see what we can do. It's a shot in the dark, but let's hope. We're going to jump back in time here to two or three weeks ago. To a day where I decided to fly my drone over a land that we'd recently planted. And it wasn't long before I spotted a bushback ram feeding in the open. He got disturbed by my drone and when he took off, I noticed that he was running with a slight limp. And upon reviewing the footage, I assumed that his back leg was broken, seeing that it was small and weak. It wasn't long before we realized that this is the ram we were stalking. And when he spooked, Alistair seemed to think that he saw a snare on his leg. But my predetermined thought was that his leg was broken, so that's what I told him. Shut down. Snare on his leg. I've seen him before, he's just got a broken leg. His back, I think it's his back left. After the failed stalk, we stopped hunting and decided to go shoot our bows at a target just to check how we were shooting in the wind. Next morning, we went to stalk Blessback, and this is what happened. what they do possibly make a move to get closer but yeah we'll see what happens the game plan was to use the cattle as cover as these blessed back were pretty much on to us they knew what was happening and in the wind they were acting very spooky eventually we got an opportunity at about 50 meters I set my pin and when the cattle moved and the ram stepped out, I seized the opportunity and let the arrow fly. First bow kill, we got onto these blessed back um, at about 80 meters. They ended up being about 40, I think it was 48 in a shot. And uh, pretty much the piece of the shoulder there and you went 100 yards. That entry of that rage is incredible. Thanks all for filming. What an experience. First bow kill, first of many hopefully and we'll see what else we can get today. After sorting out the blessback meat and putting it in the freezer, we decided to take a slow drive through the kloofs and it wasn't long before we spotted a bushback ram bedded very close to where we had stalked the injured ram the day before. With the wind the way it was, our only option was to go into the kloof and use it as cover to get close to this ram. It was bedded about five meters from the bush line so we knew it was going to be close. By the time we broke the bush line, we noticed he wasn't there. Until Alistair came around the corner and peeped through Mbongisa tree and he saw horns.
he handed me the rangefinder quickly, drew back his bow quietly, and this is what happened. So we, we spotted this old ram from across the cliff. So it was lying just on the edge of a pineapple field. So we planned a stalk and we made our way through some thick bush. Uh, managed to get up out of the bush quite close to him. And it was about probably like an eight meter shot. And I uh, hit a little bit far back. So we gave it a bit of time. Got the dog and uh, came into the thick bush here. Dog baited up and we put a following shot in him. He went down right here in the river. So it was quite an event for hunt, but it was a good one. Not only was the hunt itself extremely special, but it was the fact that Alistair put in a follow-up shot on a bait ram with his bow, and it died where it lay. What an incredible hunt and an incredible experience. I just wanted to say thanks to Alistair Notch from Beaufort Hunting. Give them a follow on Instagram. He had an awesome time here over the two days and lots of incredible memories that we'll cherish for years to come. Thanks you guys for watching. This episode was brought to you by Wildman Hunting and Outdoors, Zero Tech Optics, Triple Point Outdoors, and Ballistics Bullets. We'll see you in the next one.